Have you ever walked past someone and noticed a distinct smell? Maybe it was a pleasant aroma of perfume or a less than desirable whiff of body odor. Our sense of smell is powerful. It can trigger memories and influence our emotions. Body odor is a complex phenomenon with deep roots in our biology. It can tell us a lot about what's going on inside our bodies. Bacteria on our skin break down waste products, releasing VOCs into the air. We'll uncover the science behind those telltale scents. Get ready to unlock the secrets that your body odor might be revealing. To truly appreciate the language of body odor, we need to understand its origins. It all begins with sweat. We have two types of sweat glands, eccrine and apocrine. Eccrine glands are found all over our body and produce odorless sweat that helps regulate our temperature. Apocrine glands, on the other hand, are concentrated in areas like our armpits, groin, and around our nipples. They produce a thicker, oily sweat that's rich in proteins and fats. This is where the real action happens. Enter the bacteria. Our skin is home to a diverse community of microorganisms, including bacteria. These tiny organisms thrive in warm, moist environments like our armpits. They feed on the proteins and fats in our apocrine sweat, breaking them down into smaller molecules. This bacterial breakdown process releases those volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, we talked about earlier. It's these VOCs that create the characteristic smell of body odor. The specific types of bacteria present on our skin, along with our diet, genetics, and overall health, all play a role in shaping the unique symphony of scents that emanate from our bodies. While we may think of body odor as universally unpleasant, the reality is far more nuanced. Different types of body odors can signal different things about our health. Some odors may be benign, while others could be red flags for underlying medical conditions. For example, a strong ammonia-like smell can indicate a problem with the kidney's ability to filter waste products from the blood. A sweet, fruity odor on the breath can be a sign of diabetic ketoacidosis, a serious complication of diabetes. A foul-smelling discharge from the ears or a persistent bad taste in the mouth could point to an infection. Changes in body odor can also be triggered by hormonal fluctuations, certain medications, and even stress. It's important to remember that body odor alone is not a diagnosis. However, paying attention to changes in your normal scent and discussing any concerns with your doctor can provide valuable clues about your overall health. Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects how our body regulates blood sugar. In diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA, the body starts to break down fat for energy at a much faster rate than usual. This process produces ketones, acidic waste products that build up in the bloodstream. One of the hallmark signs of DKA is a sweet, fruity odor on the breath. This distinctive smell is caused by the presence of acetone, a type of ketone, in the breath. While it might seem counterintuitive that a serious medical condition could manifest as a sweet smell, it's a crucial warning sign that should never be ignored. Other symptoms of DKA include frequent urination, excessive thirst, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, confusion, and shortness of breath. DKA is a medical emergency that requires immediate treatment. If you or someone you know experiences these symptoms, especially with a sweet, fruity odor on the breath, Call 911 immediately. Section 5. A Fishy Tail Trimethylaminuria and the Smell of Decay Imagine having a condition that makes you smell like rotting fish. This is the unfortunate reality for people with trimethylaminuria, or TMAU, a rare metabolic disorder. TMAU occurs when the body can't break down trimethylamine, a compound produced in the gut during the digestion of certain foods. As TMA builds up in the body, it's released through sweat, urine, breath, and other bodily fluids, giving off a strong fishy odor. The intensity of the odor can vary from person to person and can be influenced by factors like diet, stress, and hormonal changes. While TMAU is not life-threatening, it can have a significant impact on a person's quality of life, leading to social isolation, anxiety, and depression. There's no cure for TMAU but dietary changes, supplements, and certain medications can help manage the condition and reduce the fishy odor. Section six, liver's silent cry, the pungent odor of liver disease. The liver is a vital organ that performs over 500 functions in the body, including filtering toxins from the blood, producing bile for digestion, and storing energy. When the liver is damaged, 
it can't perform these functions effectively, leading to a buildup of waste products in the body. One of the telltale signs of liver disease is a strong, musty odor on the breath, often described as smelling like rotten eggs or garlic. This pungent odor is caused by the accumulation of sulfur compounds in the body, particularly a substance called dimethyl sulfide. Other symptoms of liver disease can include jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin and eyes, fatigue, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, swelling in the legs and ankles, and easy bruising or bleeding. Liver disease can be caused by a variety of factors, including viral infections, alcohol abuse, obesity, and certain genetic conditions. If you notice a persistent musty odor on your breath or experience any other symptoms of liver disease, it's crucial to see your doctor for prompt diagnosis and treatment. Section 7. Kidneys Distress Signal Ammonia-Tinged Breath and Urine Our kidneys are essential for filtering waste products from the blood and maintaining the body's fluid balance. When the kidneys aren't functioning properly, waste products can build up in the bloodstream, leading to a condition called uremia. Uremia can cause a variety of symptoms, including a metallic taste in the mouth, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, itching, and changes in urination. One of the most noticeable signs of uremia is an ammonia-like odor on the breath and in the urine. This pungent smell is caused by the buildup of urea, a waste product of protein metabolism, in the blood. Urea is normally excreted in the urine, but when the kidneys aren't working properly, it can accumulate in the body and be released through the breath and sweat. If you notice an ammonia-like odor on your breath or in your urine, especially if accompanied by other symptoms of kidney problems, it's important to consult your doctor immediately. Section 8. Beneath the surface, skin infections and their telltale scents. Our skin is our first line of defense against infection. When bacteria, viruses, or fungi penetrate this barrier, they can cause a skin infection. Skin infections can manifest in various ways, including redness, swelling, pain, pus, and changes in odor. For example, a bacterial skin infection might produce a foul-smelling pus, while a fungal infection like athlete's foot often causes a cheesy or yeasty odor. The specific odor can provide clues about the type of microorganism causing the infection. In some cases, changes in body odor can signal a more serious skin condition. For instance, a fruity or bread-like odor, particularly behind the ears, can be a sign of Pseudomonas aeruginosa infection, a type of bacterial infection that can be especially dangerous for people with weakened immune systems. If you notice any unusual changes in your skin's odor, especially if accompanied by other symptoms like redness, swelling, or discharge, it's best to have it checked by a healthcare professional. Section 9. More than just hygiene, body odor, and beyond. While we've focused on how body odor can signal health issues, it's important to remember that not all body odor is a cause for concern. Our individual scent is influenced by a complex interplay of factors, including genetics, diet, lifestyle, and even our emotions. For example, eating certain foods like garlic, onions, and asparagus can temporarily alter our body odor. Stress and anxiety can also trigger our bodies to produce more sweat, potentially leading to stronger body odor. Hormonal changes, such as those that occur during puberty, menstruation, pregnancy, and menopause, can also affect our body odor. It's only when body odor changes significantly from our usual scent or is accompanied by other unusual symptoms that it might be a sign of something more serious. Trust your nose. Recognizing when to seek medical advice. Body odor can be a valuable tool for understanding our health. Know when to seek medical attention. Sudden or dramatic changes in body odor, especially with other symptoms, should prompt a doctor's visit. Watch for strong body odor, unexplained changes, or odor with other symptoms. Your doctor is your best resource for understanding changes in body odor. Section 11. In conclusion, body odor, a window into your well-being. Our body odor, often perceived as a social taboo, is in reality a fascinating and complex phenomenon. It's a language that, when understood, can provide valuable insights into our overall health and well-being. From the sweet, fruity breath of diabetic ketoacidosis to the fishy odor of trimethylaminuria, our bodies use scent as a powerful communication tool, alerting us to potential imbalances and urging us to take action. By learning to recognize the different types of body odor and the health conditions they might signal, we empower ourselves to take control of our health. Remember, 
Your body is always communicating with you. Are you listening?